We'll make it quick. Uh, Jake, uh, congratulations on a very impressive win after such a long layoff. So what are the emotions right now after a win like that? Yeah, I, I sort of, when I jumped on the cage, I sort of lost it a little bit. Just, I don't know. It's been, you know, a few, 12 months out. Not, by, not from anyone's, wasn't caused by anyone. It was just the state of the world. You know, I tried to have four fights between my last one, uh, between my last fight and now, and all four of them fell through. So, you know, you know, hardships back home, obviously, just everything just, and everything just fell into place today, and I finally showcased, you know, what I can do in there. Well, it doesn't seem like ring rust played much of a factor, and even the commentary was saying they can't remember a time you looked this good or this fast. So what in those 12 months happens that produced a, this type of performance for you? We, we just put everything together. Uh, the biggest thing was I, re I regressed back to how I fought when I was a teenager. You know, that aggression, that boxing is what got me to the UFC. And then along the way, I lost that. So we wanted to, we wanted to bring that back. We implemented that into this training camp. And I think everything fell into place. You know, I, with the 12 months off, it was frustrating. But I believe that the universe has a plan. So... When, the fight got, when a fight got cancelled, I'd just be back in the gym working towards it. And, you know, everything from the delays, fighting in Singapore, getting bumped up to the main card, it was all meant to be to showcase that. Well, obviously, I'm sure you heard the stories. He was going for the record for, like, most, most for the least amount of time to put together their three-fight win streak in the UFC. He was coming off back-to-back -back knockouts. So uh, I'm sure you studied tape on him. Did you, is this the type of fight you expected and your performance? Yeah, exactly the fight I expected. Um... I, I thought he might, he might initiate combos more. Um, he seemed to, you know, wait for me to engage. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was one of those fights. It was either knock him out. I mean, that's loud. It is. Um, yeah. It's either, um, you know, knock him out or get knocked out trying. And I would have been happy with either. Honestly, I would have been happy to go in there as long as I could showcase that boxing. If I end up getting knocked out, so be it. That's, that happens in this sport. But I wanted to at least showcase what we've been working on and show everyone how good I actually am. And finally, I'm, I know you, wanna, you wanted the four fights between your last fight and now. When do you want to get back in there? If, or, and is, is there a name you want? We've had a couple Australians come back here. They, they're eyeing that Paris card to get on with Ty and Rob. Is that a fight card you would like to get on too? Absolutely. I love fighting with my fellow Australians. Fight week's just so much more comfortable having some, you know, some peers around. Um, definitely. I mean, I'm looking to stay active. You know, we, just, we just put the slab down for our house. So I, want, yeah, I need to get some fights going so we can build that. But... Um, I just want to be active. Too many layoffs, too many stints where I've had, you know, 10, 12 months off. So it's time to just keep the ball rolling and especially with momentum like that.